Okay, let's get down to business. Um, I would say about sound a bit more assertive than that. This is going to be the final year. You you watch me say it now. This is going to be the final year at um, Eastfield Hospital because I'm I'm, I'm sick of it. It's getting my nerves. I've got all the criteria out of the way apart from cures and money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back and wait for people to come in and get cured and give them the money. Hurrah! So, um, I remember last video, in interest of being topical, I um, had a nice long rant about uh, electronic arts and what they've done to... Um, ooh, and what they've done to... Um, Maxis. And then I read up on, on it um, later and discovered they did exactly, well not exactly the same thing, but a similar thing to Bullfrog Studios, the game that made Theme Hospital. In it, admittedly, and they do this with all franchises. They, they, they come in as like saviors, get them off the ground. They did it with Bullfrog. They were the ones that helped Bullfrog publish um, Populous, that wonderfully addictive game where you just uh, level out terrain. Um, initially, it was, it was just some tool, a uh, game making tool, that was incredibly finicky and it turned it into a game where you had to level the land um, in order to um, gain followers. followers. I believe that was the original God game because you were literally a God. And um, that's Peter Muller knew in all his, his glory, I suppose. Yes, I made it handle that emergency. So the EA got them started there because they were a newly, newly developed publisher looking to expand into Britain. And then in 1995, they bought the franchise. And then, first of all, the quality of the games went downhill. So they went from Dungeon Keeper to Dungeon Keeper 2, uh, and Populous to Populous the beginning. And then you know, all sorts of theme park. Uh, sequels, Theme Park Inc and Theme Park World and Theme Park This and Theme Park That which took most of the charm and a lot of the sort of intricacies out and just turned them into money making enterprises and that is exactly what they've done with The Sims and Maxis and yeah The Maxis and The Sims and The Sims and The Sim City series so I don't know uh, history goes round again I suppose So yeah, that, that makes the, the run that I had last time relevant to this Let's Play, in case you were wondering. Uh, but then again, that's some warning. Also, are those some emergency patients going to the toilet? Okay, that didn't seem too bad. Ooh, yes it did. Uh, that needs fixing. I didn't even check, but that needs fixing. They all need fixing. Also, did some emergency patients seriously go to the toilet? What? You don't go to the toilet in an emergency? That needs that needs sorting out. Now, it's been a long time since I made the last video, so I can't remember if I mentioned um, the, the core six people have got a new patch for this coming out sometime this month. I think I, th I think I did mention this. It's going to fix a load of issues and bring in some wonderful new graphs and lots of wonderful stuff like that. And I'm all in favour of it. Check out the, the website in the description below. And while you're there, subscribe to the channel and like this and all the other sort of tap that people ask you to do as a viewer. I don't approve of that kind of thing, but you have to do it. It's like, it's like a race to the bottom. I really resent having, telling people and being told to subscribe to a channel. If I wanted to subscribe to a channel, there's several buttons I can press. I'd do it on my own accord and say, hey, this guy's good. I want to know when he'll do the next video. Yeah, everyone else... Oh, wait. And another thing. What's the deal with doctors? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fine. Uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Those kind of comments. You need to go to the staff room. 
I'm higher than this. I'm feeling generous. Yeah, I was on the mid ramp there, and I got cut off by that doctor that run off now. Yeah, you better run. Um. Yeah. I'm, I know what I'm doing on YouTube. If I want to like, comment and subscribe, I will like, comment and subscribe. Actually, I won't because I don't comment or like. And I only subscribed to 13 people. Which I guess, as a creator in my own right, yes, this does make me a creator, I guess. No? Creator, yes. Partner, no. I don't get paid for this. More's the pity, I think. Um. Yeah, I don't need to be told to like, comment, and subscribe, but it becomes a race to the bottom as those who don't ask you to like, comment, and subscribe and think you're like a uh, an, an idiot, basically, get more, do better than people who treat you like a, a human being that's able to think for yourself. I guess the trouble with appealing to the lowest common denominator is that you, you, it works. I don't like it, but it works. So yeah, you probably guessed the theme of this video and this commentary that goes with it is going to be talking about stuff until I get the, the right number of things. Almost got it. Wow, I need to cure a lot of people. Oh, I did some, uh, did, I did some test runs. I'm not going to slow the game down. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I did some test runs uh, about half one, one night when I was when I was bored and as far as I could tell raising and lowering the prices didn't of the treatments didn't greatly affect either my reputation count or the number of patients like you can see here I've already got too many patients in fact I've got so, much, so many patients I might invest in the GP's office tiny one there it's, it's all, you know, reputation doesn't climb any faster or slower. Um, number of patients isn't affected because there's only one player at the moment. And that desk's the wrong way around. You can always tell if the desk and the filing cabinet are the wrong way around if you have to right click to rotate them. I think. It's one of the things I, I kind of half noticed but didn't notice enough to. Uh, you know, think about. A Premiership footballer has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. I, I bet he looks like a Premiership footballer. Where it... There he is! Who the hell does he play for? <laughs> Wait, I've got enough money. Nine people with slack tongue, bring them in, they're patients. Have I got a clinic? Yes, I have. Uh, I'm gonna buy a new one. Strength 14, that's indestructible. Yeah, so the, the, this video is just going to be like ranting and raving about stuff until I get the right number of patients now. Which I think will be the end of this year. You see, my reputation is going up really quickly now. Well, now that I'm on a thousand, it can't go any quicker. I'll be very surprised if that's not pushed me over the edge. Yes. 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 Yes! So that was a mercifully short episode. I don't know why I put it off so long. But there you have it. Um, next time I'll find something else to rant about because I'm quite enjoying this. And it's got to the point now where there's nothing new to describe. I think there's only one or two rooms that haven't been already been featured. Never did build an ultra scan, did I? Well, I built an ultra scan in the last hospital. There's only one more room. Uh, yeah, one more room now, I think. I've got all the diagnosis machines that are available, uh, and all of this standard... No, two clinics. The uh, Jellyvat, 
which sounds interesting enough, and the alien DNA, DNA replacer. And I think we're on level 8 or 9 after about 12 or 14. So the rest of this, this game is just going to be, here's the hospital, here's me building it, and here's me sitting back and waiting. I gotta really know how to sell this, don't I? I should go into PR or advertising or something. And there's the Premiership Footballer. Naturally. Now the way it describes it, it makes it sound like he's still a Premiership Footballer. It's not like he's a, a pundit or something. Um, Ex-Premiership Footballer. Uh, who's unhappy? I'm certainly not. Actually, I'm a bit disappointed that this video has come out at about 20 minutes because it's it's just been the single year rushed through and I've, I've done it. Alright, ready? Boom! There it is. Also, my opponents are bankrupt. Apparently. That's because they're not on my count and salary. Look at that, 39,000. Desk count 12, cure count 555. Most visitors, 607. Wait a second. Yeah, what happened to those 40 people that must have just gone home? Got fed up and left, or I couldn't cure them. Those lucky, uh, those lucky 40. Reputation plus 24, smashing. It's all irrelevant because... <clears throat> I've been practicing my public speaking for just such an occasion. Dear Peck, marvellous. You have handled the running of this, this hospital superbly. Us bigwigs of the Ministry of Health would like you to know if you're interested in taking a, on a larger project. There's a job we think you'd be perfect for. The salary would be $43,017. Give it some thought. Are you interested in a job at Exenham Hospital? Exenham? Exenham! <laughs> ah! That took far too long. Seriously, I even looked at like a list of levels coming up about three days ago when I saw the list. I didn't get it then either. <laughs> oh, God, what an idiot. Um, But well, Eastville isn't funny, is Eastville Hospital isn't a funny one, is it? Am I missing something here? Please comment and tell me if I'm missing something. Because I just I just steamrolled over Eggs and Ham Hospital. And uh, on that, I shall see you next level. Yes.